Hi, I'm Paul Mikesell, CEO and founder of Carbon Robotics. We build the laser weeder. We kill weeds with very high-powered lasers and AI and cameras. With this machine and the big machines we have for sale, we go in there and we kill these weeds before they start to germinate, before they really start to seed, and that'll keep your fields clean. You'll have better crops. You'll have higher yield. You won't have to spend much money on herbicides. Your herbicides won't damage your crops because you won't have to spray them. People are having trouble finding labor. It's very difficult to find people to go into the fields. This machine gets rid of the need for that. This is a uh, computer vision, deep learning uh, piece of software that we've developed. That's our own system for doing this. The way it works is it's trained, so we use this term training a deep learning model. Take a bunch of pictures, tell the computer what's a weed and what's a crop. After a while, it starts to learn that behavior, and then when you put it in a field, it can replicate that and find the weeds and kill them. So these uh, are 150 watt CO2 lasers. These are used for cutting metal usually or some other industrial processes, but they're not typically used in the field. So we're the first ones, the only ones, to bring laser weeding to, to market in an actual production capacity like you see here. Um, these things produce a lot of energy really fast and we control them with some optics and high quality servos that can, that can target exactly where they're gonna go. And there's cameras that are aligned with that can, that can see exactly what they're gonna hit. So that combination that we talked about of deep learning AI and the servo mirror combination allows us to hit weeds exactly where they are. We don't tear, tear up the dirt, so it allows that microbial bacteria in there that's there to affix nutrients and nitrogen. We don't spin that up, so we let that ecosystem go and keep going. That's good for your crops, and it's much better for the healthier plants. We spend a lot of time with our growers, making sure that they understand the machinery, that we're hearing their feedback about what's working, not working, things we could be doing better. Um, and our support team is all over the place. So for us, it's essential that growers feel like they're getting good support, and we're there be with them the whole way.